In this video, I'll demonstrate how to pose your characters in Marvelous Designer by exporting the pose character from Houdini and pop it into Marvelous. We'll get to use what we're familiar with in Houdini's kin effects to rig the character into a pose mode, and I'll show you how to transfer that pose into Marvelous and simulate the wrinkles. Yes, Marvelous Designer has a clothing simulator, very much like Houdini's Vellum Solver. Now if you're only interested in simulating clothing in Houdini using the Vellum Solver, that will be covered in the next video. Why would we ever want to simulate in Marvelous Designer? I mean, we have Houdini's Vellum Solver, right? Which simulates things at a way more complex level. Sometimes you may just want a single pose for your character with the clothing that you already have. This could be used for 3D printing, table turnarounds, or a single shot render. You may just need a simple pose, and I think that's where you want to simulate in Marvelous versus Houdini. There's a couple ways you can export this. Now, I've exported my clothing uh, posed with this T-Pose, but you don't have to. Marvel, one of the fancy features Marvelous Designer supports is that it can morph your character into a different pose, thereby posing the clothing in a different pose as well. What you need to do is, or what we can do in Houdini is that I've animated the mannequin into this hip pose. So let me turn the timeline here. So he's just going from here to a hip pose. And all I'm doing is this using IKs to control this. Now this is all covered in my previous IK tutorials, um, sorry, KinFX tutorials at the basic concept three, I believe. If you make it up to three, you, you will know how to do this, but it's not anything hard. You can, you don't have to use IKs. So IKs just makes it easier to manipulate the character rig. You can manually do it. This is a very simple pose. This is just two hands on the hip. Now we're gonna export this animation from this T pose to this hand pose. So these, this is around 30 frames, 20, 26 frames right here. And what we need to do is drop down FBX ROP, but we're gonna use FBX ROP animation output because we're interested in the animation. Now I've already had that down here, so there's not much that I've changed. It's all default parameters. The only thing is it's 26 frames fed in where I want the file to be. And that's going into the mannequin hip pose animation. That done, click the save, go there. We come over to Marvelous Designer. How do we get that animation in here? Well, first of all, I would delete this character because it's going to make a double. Select that move tool, click your avatar. You can see that it, it's turned into a highlighted orange-ish. Press delete. Now we can import and you want import add. You don't want import. Just import add is the one you want because we're trying to morph the character. So I'm going to choose hit pose animation. Bring it in. Now it's really important that you ha uh, know it does it by default already. So this is avatar and this is low type add. So that's important, but it does it by default. And I'm just gonna leave everything by default and just click okay. It's gonna complain T-pose, that's okay. We already know that. Now press this little button down here and that'll pull up the animation window. And then if you play it, so you can see this timeline, you can see it bending down, but it's not moving the clothing. That's because we have to turn on the simulator. So what you do is turn on the simulator right here. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the normal one actually. Now, after you choose that, it's still not on. So you need to be careful. It's not highlighted. It's not on. So you have to click it. Now it's on. So you can see the arrow being highlighted. Now you got to click this bake button that will record the simulation and it should automatically play. It's one thing. And also I'm going to turn off the simulation for a while. Now, what I wanted to show you is the the scene time warp. So this will slow down the simulation. It, it's sort of like turning up the sub steps in Houdini. That's sort of what this does. So this helps the simulation have a more accurate measurement in just in case your animation moves too fast, faster than the sim, uh, Marvelous Designer can handle. So this will slow it down. The higher the number, the slower it'll run. So what I'm gonna do, turn back the simulation on and then press this bake button it should automatically bake and you can see the hands coming down and the clothing reacting to the motion. So this is what we need, or this is maybe what you need if you want the clothing to begin in this pose. So what you can do is choose the pose that you like using this timeline here and just export this out wherever you want it. Now, if you want it like this, just export it here. So all you need to do, export it just how we had it before. So I'm going to put in the clothing test once again. 
multiple okay there's one more thing i needed to mention you need to have multiple objects selected houdini doesn't really like it when you have single objects selected it ruins the uvs for some strange reason so multiple objects is is what you want now if we bring this in file you can see it is posed in our hip pose if this is what you want now this is not what i'm going to be doing though i have exported this character in this pose and i've actually animated him in the vellum simulator using the vellum uh, solver instead of using marvelous designer so i like doing it that way having everything all in one place just because i like houdini it's your preference this is here if you need it going back to houdini this here is not something i'm using this is just here for fyi just in case you need it now let's go back now let's go into the animation this is where we bring in marvelous designer and our character animation which i have hooked up to a walking animation so let's take a look over here you can see the clothing being outlined just because i have it cached already so he does begin in a t pose so the first few frames it comes down and this transition animation is done using this skeleton blend, which is a neat little way of blending between the rest position, which is the T pose, into the walk animation. The walk animation is retargeted already using this guy over here. So we can see he's, this is what we're, I'm feeding it, but this is what I have to begin with. And you can't just feed in the walking right away just because vellum needs to go like, okay, the clothing is in a T pose situation, right? It's here. You want me to do this? Like it needs a few frames to sort of prep it. It needs this transition to fall down. Oh, you know, to tell Houdini, okay, the sleeves have to fall down, matching the arms coming down into the walking position. So that's what all that is about. And you can animate the skeleton skeleton blend here so that's what i've done over here i've hooked up the rest pose here into the first input and the other one is the walk animation over here so they're both hooked up there is this slider where you go okay how far you want it i just put it a keyframe zero which means rest rest position and then once i get to frame 25 it's pure walking so this is perfect I haven't decided what to release to my perk members for this video since I had released the whole Marvelous Designer 2 Houdini workflow in the previous video. I need to come up with some new stuff. I am thinking of creating some more complex clothing designs for my characters in Marvelous, which may be used for my upcoming project I'm working on that could be released for my perk 1 members. And for the perk 2 members, I could do some clothing tearing, which I've been wanting to do for some time now. Maybe I can put something together for a quick fight scene that ends up tearing the clothing. This is all in brainstorming stage, but I've been wanting to do more fun things with the hip project releases. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end.